Good evening and thanks so much for tuning to Twin State Sports. I'm Zach Seminar. After a run to the College World Series for a second consecutive year, Mississippi State Baseball has announced their 2020 path to another potential World Series run. Diamond Dogs announcing that 2020 schedule today. It totals 56 games, 31 of them at Duty Noble Field. MSU is going to play 30 of those games against teams that either won regular season conference championships or made an appearance in the NCAA tournament. Bulldogs will open the year with nine straight home games, beginning with a three-game series against Horizon League champion Wright State. Dogs will continue with a midweek game against SoCon regular season champion Samford, and then comes a classic three-game series with perennial national power Oregon State. That's February 21st through the 23rd in Starkville. Dogs will also see Southern Miss and Ole Miss in mid-April while paying visits to 2019 World Series teams in Auburn and national champion Vanderbilt, that one to end the season. One half of Major League Baseball's Fall Classic is set. Washington Nationals struck early and often in their Game 4, 7-4 win over St. Louis last night, finishing off a sweep of the NL Central champion Redbirds. It was a series dominated by Washington pitching while the bats heated up later on in the series, not allowing the Cardinals to hold a single lead throughout the entire four-game series. Washington's Howie Kendrick, he was named the NLCS MVP for the Nats, who will be making their first World Series appearance in the team's history. While the Nationals rest the next six days, it'll be a bit longer before they learn who they'll play in next week's World Series. Astros and Yankees had their series game four washed out tonight after heavy rain rolled into New York City today. Game now going to be played tomorrow at 7.08. That'll slide game five back to Friday, a previously scheduled off day with, if necessary, games six and seven back in Houston on Saturday, Sunday. Houston leads that series two games to one. While the rest of the 2019 season plays out, the LA Angels looking ahead to 2020. They've hired former Cubs manager Joe Madden. 65-year-old Skip was let go by the Cubs last month after five seasons with the club. That included a 2016 World Series championship run. Madden began his career with the Angels in the 70s as a player and minor league coach. He'll now be tasked with turning around a team that lost 90 games last season, its most since 1999. After requesting a trade last month, Jalen Ramsey finally on the move after the Jaguars sent him to the Rams on Tuesday night. Jacksonville receives a pair of first round picks and a future fourth rounder for the two time Pro Bowler. He joins a team that recently traded Marcus Peters to the Ravens to open up some room for a deal that allowed Ramsey to arrive in L.A. And at her first professional golf tournament in at least seven years, Leanne Walker played herself into the history books while competing in the Senior LPGA Championship. Walker was assessed 58 penalty strokes after her first two rounds of play this week in Indiana, giving her scores of 127 and 90. Those sound like my kind of scores. As it turns out, Walker was unaware of a rule change that was implemented earlier this year, prohibiting caddies from lining up behind players during putts. Thankfully for Walker, she still would have missed the cut prior to those penalty strokes. We'll be right back.